<sighs> hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck, and today we're gonna hop in the old Black Lightning. That's what I call my car. Whatever. Uh, and we're gonna go check out the Arrow Sale that's over at Barnes and Noble right now. I thought that the uh, Arrow Sale was happening at the same time, or usually happens at the same time as the Criterion Sale, but I learned. It is not. It is actually like an overlap kind of thing. So we're going to get on down there to Barnes & Noble right here, right now, and uh, go see if they got any good Arrow titles on display. So let's fire up this thing and go check them out. I am super excited to get in here and check out these Arrow titles. Uh, but before I get in there, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, let's get inside and check out those Arrow titles. Oh yeah, there it is, the entrance, man. I love this place. When I go into this, oh, I get so excited. All right, let's go. All right, here it is, their Arrow display. This is amazing, 50% off, all of these fantastic titles. Check it out. Not a lot of slip covers around here, but, you know, we got your... Dune and Robocop, some Kung Fu, Tremors. Oh, there's the Wild Things, 50% off. Let's see, that is at Focus Focus, 60 bucks. So that'll be a $30 title. Pretty cool. Come on, there we go. Now you can see it. What is this thing, Dead or Alive? Huh, at first I thought this was like um, Dead Heat, but nope. It's not an arrow title. There you go, 12 Monkeys. Oh, two with slip still, cool. Well, the reanimator, a couple of copies there. A lot of fun time. <laughs> That's hilarious looking. Girls' Night Out. I've seen this on other people's channel. Uh, I'm not sure it's my cup of tea, but it's a cool looking title with a nice slip. There's a legend, one of my faves. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm super happy they got titles here at 50% off. Uh, I thought it was sort of in sync at the same time as the Criterion sale, but um, I asked the owner, you know, about these, and he said, no, they tend to overlap. Like, maybe the Arrow sale starts about two weeks before the uh, Criterion, so there'll be a little bit of overlap. So, once Criterion... Ah, that's a pretty sweet steel book for weird science, y'all. Um, but once the uh, Criterion sale starts, it's not like this is going to be happening the entire time. So, um, yeah, if you have a Barnes & Noble near you, get on over there and check out the, your collection of Arrow titles. See if you get a good collection. Uh, like, this is pretty good. I have a bunch of these already, um, so we'll see if there's anything worth picking up for me. Like this one here, The Last Starfighter. That's a pretty great one. Uh, more copies of Wild Things. <laughs> Basket Case. Yeah, uh, shocked. A lot of good horror titles here. So I know you're a bunch of horror fans out there. And here's the last couple of titles. So there you go. Come and get them. Now they do have this one more display over here with Arrow titles. I almost didn't see this. I just started browsing around the store. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's only like three titles per shelf. So a very minimal display. Oh, there's uh, My Stepmother's an Alien. That wasn't over there, nor was Chud. And uh, they got some Django. Uh, and Vengeance Trails collections. Good stuff, man. So yeah, definitely some good Arrow titles here. Like, let's check this out. This, this Django is actually a steel book. So 50% off, it's a $25 steel book. Pretty cool. All right, now before we call it a day, I figured I'd go ahead and do some uh, a little pre-browsing on the Criterions here, the little 4Ks. So still haven't picked up uh, Citizen Kane. So this could be maybe top of my list when I come back out next month. Ooh, 50 bucks, so that'll be a $25 title. But yeah, probably grab that one. And let's just go over here and check out their new releases. I'm curious what they have. Some good titles there. Yeah, pretty good. I don't normally get these type of movies here, but there you go. And uh, they have a couple of other collections laying around here, like uh, here's some period pieces. If you're into that, they got DVDs and Blu-rays. A lot of DVDs, actually. They have a little anime section. Not, I'm not really keen on this section at all, but I thought I'd show it off to you guys. They have a lot of the uh, Studio Ghibli stuff and some other goodies. <laughs> Pokemon. But yeah, here's those Steelbook Studio Ghibli titles. And uh, the final section here is a is a bestseller selection. Let's take a look here. This is, look at this. It's a Slapshot Steelbook. It's normally $27, bucks, 30 percent off. And that's a pretty good deal. I mean, I don't know how much I love Slapshot, but, <laughs> you know, that is a good deal for that steelbook if I was, like, super big fan of that movie. A lot of just sort of random titles here. I'm just sort of 
pull, pulling back these DVDs to see what the Blu-rays are. Uh, Bond collection, mostly DVD. So, yeah, as you can see. Oh, there you go. A little Halloween title, 30% off. That's still really high, though. You can get that cheaper on Amazon. Wow, here is a quick interruption in this video. I just looked it up for you guys. And look at this price. It is $8.72 right now. It does have a $5 delivery, but still, that's like $13 for Halloween Kills. And there's two copies left. So, if you guys are interested, there you go. Groove also has the same title for $16.13 and they got some pretty sweet deals like 20% off and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you haven't checked out Groove, they have great deals over there too. So, all right, let's get back to it. Yeah, there's this too. I think it's on sale for 23 if it's still on sale. But anyway, if not, it's still in that 26, 23 to $26 range for that original Halloween. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm kind of done in this section here. So let's go ahead and get out of here and uh, see if there was anything worth picking up. All right, here we are back at the house. And uh, I just wanted to show you what we actually ended up picking up. We did, uh, first first of all, uh, I did take my Hugs Pop Culture Cafe bag with me. Because <laughs> that's awesome. Also wearing the shirt. Yeah, I was, I was in full display today. Uh, and I did pick up one title while I was there, and that is the Wild Things Woo! on 4K. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I've already peeled the sticker off. Um, but yeah, this is it, man. I've been sort of uh, eyeballing this thing. I wasn't sure uh, if and when I was going to pick it up, but it was just sitting there. It's one of the few that was on display I didn't actually already have so i know i've been seeing this a lot on a lot of people's channels um but you know hey it's my turn to pick it up now so yeah i have you guys seen this have you guys seen the uh, this version of wild things on 4k i hear it looks really good and i hear it's a pretty pretty good film i've seen it before but a long time ago so can't wait to give this sucker another watch yep one more look so there it is <laughs> Yes, yeah, wild things. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today. Uh, if you are also um, looking to pick up some arrow titles and you got a, a Barnes & Noble near you, maybe they got some on display, so get on out there and check it out. Like I said, this caught me by surprise, so just want to get out there and check it out. So, All right, that is going to do it for now. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and hit like and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can notify the next time I do my next video. That is going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for checking this out. Until next time, I'll catch you later.